Hi guys, it's reaction time. We've got Ron Coolen and Shake Me to the Floor. I don't know an awful lot about this guy, um, but he's got the guy Keith St. John singing in this band. Keith St. John is um, from Montrose in Burning Rain. Um, so I know I've heard Burning Rain. I've heard Montrose years ago. Not any newer stuff, but if there is newer stuff, I'm not 100% sure. But Burning Rain are a cool band. Um, yeah, really like that band. I've covered a few songs from them uh, on this channel, I believe. Uh, but this is Ron Cooling and Keith St. John, um, Shake Me to the Floor. It doesn't say anything about an album coming out or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure something will come of that, hopefully. Here we go. This just popped up on my feed yesterday, so this has only been, just been released. This is Ron Coolen and Shake Me to the Floor. Here we go. I'm gonna stop it there because it seems like a solo's coming up, but man, oh yeah, I love this man. It's so much fun. It's giving me, I mean, proper 80s vibes, but almost Van Halen vibes. There's some definite Van Halen vibes going on, especially in the guitar work, in the fun, in the way that Keith St. John's singing it. You know, he's having fun with the lyrics, the way he's pronouncing them and playing with the words. It's just brilliant. That's how you write a fun 80s inspired track, but still sound fresh at the same time. The, the, I love the rhythm of this, the groove of this. Straight away, I thought, wow, that riff is ultra catchy. And I mean, catchy in a fun sort of way as well. Anyone who doesn't smile when they listen to this, it's just gone 7 a.m., right? I'm absolutely knackered. Been at work all week. And straight away, <laughs> that riff alone brought a massive smile to my face. I love the, like, the intricate squealing guitars. Like I said, I've already mentioned Van Halen, but definite influence on this song from Eddie Van Halen for sure. You know, almost like a, almost like a jam session, but really technical jam session. It's almost like really having fun. It sounds like improvised, but it's probably not. But you know, it, it's got that feel, that sort of fun feel like we're going to party now. We're going to go and play in. We're going to have a band practice. We're going to, we're going to, fuck around but it, it's perfection at the same time oh man love this it's so catchy such a party track and it's making you smile from ear to ear you know you know way back when when music was fun remember remember guys this is it this is fun music and it doesn't sound 
Do you know what I mean? Over the top fun. It's not like trying to force the fun down your throat and it's not making you laugh because it's so ridiculous. It's got a real fun edge to it and it really resonates with me. It really does. What's that song? It, it's got that beat, you know when it stops and it, it's got that guitar bit. It reminds me of a Van Halen song and I can't remember what it is. And the Cradle Wheel Rock, I think it is. I think it is that. But anyway, it, it, it's absolutely amazing. Whatever it is, I think it reminds me of, and the cradle will rock. It's got that guitar bit that sort of, ding, 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 ding. anyway, I'm just, you know, sometimes I'm, I can think of songs in when I'm listening to other songs, but I'm not saying it's a Van Halen copy. I'm saying it's got the fun, the vibe of classic Van Halen. And I'm a massive classic Van Halen fan, Dave Lee Roth era. For sure, you know, they're, they're amazing. Um, so, or was amazing. This is absolutely brilliant. I'm having so much fun with this song. Let's listen to the rest, guys. And man, I am so looking forward to the solo because we've heard some amazing guitar work so far. Let's see the rest, guys. Here we go. I dare you not to have fun listening to that, man. That was absolutely brilliant. Got to be like a homage, isn't it, to Van Halen? I mean, if these guys get interviewed and they say, no, it's got nothing to do with Van Halen, we weren't thinking of Van Halen, surely that's bullshit. But, but at the same time, it's not a copy. It's basically saying Van Halen was so fucking great and we're going to pay homage because we're influenced by him. So what's wrong with that? That's how I feel about that song. Even the bit, shooby dooby doo up, I'm the one, obviously, off of the Van Halen album. I've got real shades of that. It made me smile again when I heard it. I love that because I've, you know what, it's like now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, there's, there's bands that are coming around that basically sound like tribute bands. So you've got like, um, you know, the Iron Maiden stuff going on. You've got bands that are literally got singers that sound exactly like Bruce Dickinson. And the music sounds exactly like Iron Maiden. It's almost like too much. It's too much of a copy. It's trying to be Maiden. I think this this band or this song, I don't know what the other music sounds like from Ron Cooling, but this song is almost saying, 
Yes, we're highly influenced, but this is our own thing. But we're going to add elements of Van Halen in. And I never thought for a second I'm going to get sick of listening to this because they're trying to be Van Halen. It's not that at all. And I think the vocalist helps there as well. He doesn't sound like David Lee Roth. He doesn't sound like Sammy Hagar. He sounds like Eva, but the song is very fun. It's got that Van Halen vibe and they've sort of almost taken that influence from one of the greatest bands that has ever been around and injected some of that into this amazing song. But it doesn't sound like a Van Halen song, or any particular song. It's just got elements, you know? I love that. That was absolutely amazing. I have so much fun with that song. That was Ron Coolen and Shake Me to the Floor and featured Keith St. John. Guys, let me know what you think of that really fun song in the comments below. And I'll see you soon.